guys, it's Lisa with Lita Moth Creations and I am back as promised with my Midnight Muses Deluxe. This is a first time thing for Sugar Muses to do a Midnight Muses Deluxe and I'm so excited that I was able to get in on it and hopefully I can start resubscribing to all my boxes like very soon in the future. Um, I think things are just, you know, Things are slow in my shop. It's after Christmas and tax time and, you know, so, and there's no overtime at my job. So I'm just like, okay, mama's got to be careful with her Monday <laughs> and the extra kid that moved in. My oldest did get a job. You know, we moved um, from Missouri to Illinois and he just got a job. He starts tomorrow. So yay, he's going to be able to pay me rent soon. So things are looking up and I'm getting a tax refund. Woo! <laughs> You got the new people that are tuning in are like, what girl, what are you telling us all this stuff for? Hello and welcome guys. If you're new to my channel, my name is Lisa and I like to do mostly unboxings, but usually witchy things. And I may sprinkle in some other things that have nothing to do with witchcraft just because I like to be crafty in general. Oh, I'm so excited. There's just some cool shit on top. Okay. All right, guys, again, this is a new box. I have become an affiliate with Sugar Muses, and I'm so thankful for that opportunity, Christy, your maze balls. And if you guys um, would like to subscribe to any of the boxes, um, I get a kickback on the um, Sugar Muses Deluxe and the Midnight Muses Deluxe. So I will leave a link below. Again, if you use my link, it does help out my channel, um, and I appreciate y'all. And I appreciate Christy for allowing that to be the case. So, all right. So our theme is Gothic Romance, which was actually the theme for our regular Midnight Muses. And so I'm excited to add upon what I already got from that previous box. So, yay. All right. It says, thank you for supporting the new Midnight Muses Lux box. Oh, okay. It's called the Lu Midnight Muses Lux. Uh, February's energy is about self-care, self-empowerment, and and love spell energy work. Incl okay, hold on. Includes purification, forgiving yourself, growth, healing, focusing on your passions, and spiritual growth. Excuse me, I'm like super froggy because I'm still sick. Um, and, yeah, whatever. Anyways, alright, it says the name February might have come from the Roman goddess of February. February, who was the mother of the god of the god Mars. Oh, nice. She was a goddess of passion and might have been one of the aspects of the goddess Juno. She is associated with the Roman purification festivals in the month of February. February associations are, um, which we kind of read these in the other box, but if you didn't watch my other box, I will read to you. Uh, Zodiac is Aquarius, this chick. Uh, Pisces, elements of air and water, colors of black, red, light blue, and rose, gemstone of amethyst and bloodstone, flowers of primrose, violet, and rose. All right. Um, she has a manifest love spell here that I will not read. You need to subscribe to the box. All right, so we have our intuitively drawn tarot card, and it is from the Tarot of Vampires, which... What did I put my other one? Um, from the Midnight Muses regular box, I I think I got the Lovers, and now I have Seven of Skulls. So is the Skulls uh, cups? I would think Skulls would be cups. So there's the back of the card, and there is your Seven of Skulls. So cool. Um, I don't, I don't really know what their their suits are. I would assume skulls is cups, but... Well, I don't know, though. Skulls could be pentacles because it's kind of earthy. I don't know. Okay. Anyways. So then we have our artwork. I feel like this might be the same one from the Midnight Muses, but I'm not positive. Um, very cool. Very vampirous looking. And then... Um, and these are gothic romance art prints that um, are created exclusively by Christy. And then this is like a um, cool like potion bottle one. Let me bring it. This box is kind of in the way. 
Isn't that cool? Awesome. Actually, I'm gonna put this over in there. I like to do things with those. I actually have another, oh, you know what, I know what this is. So we have some spell paper in here. So we've got some red tissue paper, whoa, that I'm gonna throw on the floor, and um, a little card. So I didn't read this the in the in the Midnight Muses box because I was thinking that this little section was um, like a spell, but it's just telling you how to use the spell paper. So I will read it now. It says, write a wish on the paper. Focus on your spell wish as you roll up the paper into a tiny ball. It should be the size of a marble. Unwrap and smooth out the paper, then reshape into a tube about the size of a quarter. Stand the tube upright on the red and black platform. Do we have a platform? And touch a match to the top edge. If the tube falls over, just let it burn down. It should still fly. It will burn for about a minute and then will rise and take your spell wish up to the universe. Have at least seven feet of clearance above the burning paper. Please use caution and common sense. Test outside before using indoors. Oh. I will have to be very careful because I am accident prone. <laughs> this could be bad. <laughs> All right, so there is that. All right, and then we have a little thingamajigger. And this has some uh, casting salts, I believe. Um, rose salt? No. All right, what does it say on it? Yeah, it says rose salt. So there's some casting salts with roses in there. That's a cute little bottle, isn't it? It's, um, it's plastic. Um, okay, there we go. I cut it open. That's cute. Okay, rose salt. Rose salt is generally used for magic and rituals pertaining to all aspects of love. It has uses in helping with friendships, harmony, love, honor, affection, peace, joy, and self-love. It can be added to a bath to promote emotional healing and self-love. Salt is used to purify and protect. Salt carries the elements of earth and water. Obviously, do not consume. All right, put that over there. Then we have some neroli incense. I want to smell it. Mmm. Put that over there. All right, and then we have a sachet with a crystal. It's a raw crystal, raw rhodonite. Oh, fun! I don't know if I have any raw rhodonite. I'm not sure about that. See what it looks like. Oh, fun! Here you can see more of the pink. Awesome! I wonder if it says. Oh, here we go. This is a stone of compassion, emotional balance, and nurtures love. It stimulates, clears, and activates the heart chakra. It is said to open the mind and the heart, so we may see another person's point of view. Its name comes from the Greek word rhodonai, which translates to rose. Place it over your heart chakra while meditating to facilitate balance, peace, and emotional healing. Very lovely. I will put it on my selenite right there. Okay. Ooh! Now we have our oil. So it comes in a little box. Super excited. All right, this one is the Memory of Flowers, and it says Violet Water, Nectar, Jasmine, and Sandalwood. Let's see. Ooh. It's a wonder that I can still smell. Hopefully I can tell the difference because I just... Oh, man. I just put that other one on. <laughs> oh, it smells so good. Okay. I don't know if it will say anything about this. So I read that. Haven't read that yet. Okay, I don't think that that is... Okay, I don't think that it necessarily says anything about this. It's just... Um... Oh, I don't want to go 
This oil contains a proprietary blend of lemon, violet, jasmine, rose, and sandalwood essential oils, absolutes, and an almond-based oil. This oil is hand-blended, organic, vegan, and free of phthalates and parabens. To wear, use the applicator to anoint to or pulse points. I have already anointed them. <laughs> All right, then we have a candle, and I'm sure that it's like gothic romance. Um, candle. Da -da -da -da. Well, oh, the memory of flowers. Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, on top we've got this, and then it's the memory of flowers candle. And there's the inside. It's got a little sparklies in there. Yes, lovely. So this will really go well with um, that goddess ritual I will do from the other box. Put the trash over there. Oh, I just kicked my camera. God, I look like crap, guys. Sorry. <laughs> All right, so we have this box. Oh, it's a bracelet. Aw. Okay, so it's one of those cool bracelets um, that you can add more of these little clippy doos. All right, maybe I shouldn't put it on so I could actually show you guys. All right, so we've got the, so it's got that little heart right there and then it's got this other little heart right there. Cute, yeah. And then I got my other heart right here, okay. All right, then we have, and I don't know that it says anything about the bracelet. Exclusive adjustable bracelet. Exclusive handmade items from Midnight Muses. Cool. And then we have a um, smoke bundle. I don't know if it smells or not, but. And it says dried lavender bundle. Does it say anything? Bundle botanical. Um, light the end of the bundle and then blow out. Wave the smoke around your house, paying attention to corners, closets, and bathrooms while holding your intention in mind. Cleanse, purify, and bless the space for your sacred ritual. Lavender is said to promote happiness and harmony in the home by providing tranquility. It clears the environmental energies of negativity and is often used for these reasons in space clearing rituals. Lavender is associated with love, peace, happiness, balance, and luck. Ethically sourced, do not burn incense and candles unattended. And I have my little um, smoke bundle uh, little thing. <laughs> if you guys can see it, I painted it. And it's got earth, air, fire, and water elements on the like inside of the bowl that I painted. All right. That's just tissue paper. All right, let me just see. Got that, got that, got that. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, I think there are two things that I'm left to get. Let me try to find the smaller thing first. Okay, I'm gonna put this down here because I don't want you guys to see this big thing that I'm pulling out which I'm like beyond stoked to figure out what this is <laughs> today. I don't know. I'm supposed to have botanical blend. Hmm. I think I'm missing something. But I also said that the last box, so it's probably like somewhere right in front of my face and I'm just missing it. It's supposed to be a botanical blend, but maybe it's inside this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is going to be insane. Oh my lord. Are you guys ready for this? Oh my gosh. Look at the side. There is a pentacle not a pentacle, it's a pentagram. Well, I guess there's a circle around it. I guess you could call it a, oh my gosh, I'm seeing more things. Okay, so there's your pentacle, pentagram. And then down here is a triple moon. Oh my gosh. Gee, how do you open it? Do 
you open it? Does it open? Or is it just decor? <laughs> oh, it's just ultra decor. I was like, don't break it, Lisa. Oh my god. Uh, wow. And then it's got a little feather. <gasps> She's beautiful. Oh my gosh. This is going in my living room. I know where I'm going to put it with all my crystals. Oh my god. Like, my gosh. Like, the two big items from the two um, boxes from Sugar Muses today. Wow. Wow, Christy, girl, I'm going to have to, I, I need to figure out how to um, keep subscribing. <laughs> I don't want to lose out on anything. Okay, so like I said, she has a manifest love spell in here. Um, yeah, I don't know where my, in it, it, you're, I'm supposed to have an Inanna blend. Um, and then, oh, there's a recipe to make floral water. And so, yeah, I don't know, maybe, maybe the blend is somewhere in that box in all the crinkle paper. I will find it, um, sometime. <laughs> so that is it guys, because I don't know where it's at. Whoa, I've got crystals falling out at me. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, dealing with my ADD, um, and my froggy voice and my like hell warmed over <laughs> or something like that. Is that what it is? my my sickly looking face <laughs> so guys i would love if you are not a current subscriber to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos and if you're already a subscriber thank you so much if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up leaving me a comment below it really helps me out and if you would like to subscribe to one of the um, sugar muses boxes there is a link in the description box. And again, it does give me a kickback and I appreciate y'all if you do that um, to help out my channel for me to continue making these videos for you guys. And I will leave last month's video right here. And until next time, have a great day. Bye.